Okay. This is the thumbnail? Is this the thumbnail? Will you take the thumbnail for me? Get in. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to be in it? Welcome back to the channel and boy are you in store for something big today. We are at the tractor show. Nate, how excited are you for the tractor show? Uh, look at his face says it all. Look at how many cars. This is this ain't your daddy's tractor show. This is your granddaddy's tractor show. <laughs> oh, it's my this is Nate's daddy's tractor show. This is pretty epic. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of stuff to show you guys, so I'm pretty excited. Normally we bring our Farmall M, but it's actually in use down at the meadow, which is down at, at the bottom of the campground. And we finished up our first haying project down there yesterday. So we left the equipment down there just because we are uh, tired of tractors right now. Tired of riding around on tractors and parking them and stuff like that. So that's why our tractor isn't entered, but there is going to be plenty more to see. This is the carriage that used to live in our livery. How you doing? Hungry, 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 hungry. All right, so Nate just got his sausage on stick and I'm gonna burger. Although we're totally sharing. We're sharing. All right, we're gonna go walk around. Watch this camera trick, ready? Oh, that was smooth. So this literally looks like the funnest thing in the entire planet. Oh, nice. Yep, that's true. This looks like the funnest thing in the whole world. And I would like one. This is, a, is this an economy? Yeah, these are both Oh, fun. very cool. Now, we have an old economy at our house. Uh, what year is it? 70 something? Super early 70s. 14 horsepower. And my friend Nate here um, ripped the front wheel off because he thought he could move the tractor with his hand. Do you want to respond to that, Nate? No, that's how I broke the steering box. <laughs> oh, right. I can't remember how you broke the uh, the, the wheel, wheel but anyway. Been running for a long time. Oh yeah, of course, you know. So this anyway, looks like, this, looks like this is very much like the one that we have. And ours has a bucket on the front. I'll try to insert a picture in there. What is this one? Country Squire. Who makes that? It's awful pretty. I'm partial to farm malls, but orange tractors are my favorite. So, here are the Alice Chalmer beauties here. Very nice. And this is the picture of the one that you just sent to me, right? Yep. We're gonna go walk over to where they are doing a haying demonstration with an old timey is old timey the right word? It's not the right word, right? Old timey baler. And it's being run with a Farmall H. And uh, this is the old school kind. I can't imagine that they used to do this compared to what we use for our balers now. 
I like which the takes hardly any time. <laughs> I'd rather load loose hay in hay wagons and put it in the barn with a train. And yeah, see, that's this. crazy to me. So. wherever you were um, cutting logs and you could actually mill your own board right out on site. Let's look. You could get a lot of board sod out of just one log. I mean, you could build a whole a whole entire cabin out in the woods if you really wanted to. Look at the different boards that you can get. Different lengths and thicknesses. Pretty neat. I'm telling you, all the stuff comes out of the woodwork here. What year is it? 54. A 1954. So cool. Let's go run. So, if the apocalypse happened and there was an EMP, this vehicle, if it was in a Faraday box, would still run, right, Nate? Sure. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Let's look at the old stuff. All right, so let me see if I can get these right without you telling me what they are. That's another grader. All right, let's look at this first. They don't know what we're looking at yet. So this one would obviously have been pulled by, um, I mean, it could have been pulled, it could have been pulled by a, another, like a tractor or something. It didn't have its own engine or motor the way the Huber that we just showed you did. Um, all right, let me try and get, let me try and get all of these right, okay? So this is a tether, correct? So the tether would have used these forks to pick up and fling the hay all about so that it would dry easier in an even pile. This is just a yoke for um, a wagon or anything really, cart of some sort. Um, this is a well, that's the that's the disker, right? So this is a disc harrow. Am I right? That's a disc harrow. That's this is a harrow. This is just a harrow. That's the disc harrow. Either way, it's cool. And uh, you would pull this with a tractor. Definitely a plow. Looks way more complicated than it should be. Disc harrows. Harrows as well, I guess. Now, see, I thought those were trampolines for um, baby chickens, but. And then this is obviously a sickle bar mower. And again, a sickle bar mower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, so this is really cool. And I don't know uh, who else would have one of these except up here in the woods. This is a, it's steam powered? This is gas powered. This is a gas powered logging rig that they would use to go into the forest and haul out logs. I suppose this would have taken the place of cattle or oxen. Uh, first skitter, kind of. This is sort of a first like skitter. All right, well that makes more sense though. So this is pretty neat though. So this would have been the part that, like the sled that you would attach. And it would drag, it would drag the logs. That little cab is so cool though, like that's the best part of it. Can you stand up in there? It doesn't, it doesn't really look like you can stand up in there. It's more like a sitting type of thing. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, it's definitely not a stand up type of thing. Just to look at me. Farmall Super C, that's the second one we've seen. Actually, here's the third one. And it is attached to a beautiful dump rake. This sort of rake, you would have uh, dragged across the ground and it would have collected all the hay into one area. And uh, then they would have fed it into the baling machine like you saw earlier. Beautiful Farmall 140. Look, it's even got a protective thing for it. Protective thing for its sickle bar. Are we missing the painting demonstration? Better get over there. Farmall A. We actually have a Farmall A, but the front tire is messed up and the engine is seized. So we've got another C with uh, another Farmall C with a giant bucket on the front. <gasps> another Farmall C. This isn't the one that I drove, though. As you can tell, Farmall is way represented here, big time. It's a Farmall type of, type of farm. We do have our John Deere's, of course, because they're super popular. At the core of this tractor show, really, is Bill Mellett's tractor collection. He's got a little bit of everything, but uh, here's a bunch more of his Farmalls. This is the one that we raked with last year. This was really fun to drive. Really, really fun to drive. 1928 Farmall. Yep. The Farmall Cub. It looks like it just rolled off the floor. Another cub. 
It says pre-restoration, but it looks beautiful to me. There's another 8N. And that one also looks like it just came off the floor. And another 8N. So gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Golden Jubilee, it's a different one. Whose is this? Okay. Wow. Boards would be milled in the uh, sawmill that we saw. They would need to be planed down to a certain size, and that's what this next machine does over here. It's being run with a Farmall A, and it's a pretty neat machine too. tractor show and then we went and said hi to some family and some friends and now we are going to stage some shots so we can get this epic tractor parade that is about to happen and because this is literally the most tractors I've ever seen at the tractor show I expect that this parade is gonna be just amazing so I am super excited Nate are you excited
that was a super successful tractor show. Do you agree? You better agree. Look at them all. Look at them all. I mean, look at this. This is heaven for people that like tractors or even just a little taste of old town, small town life, um, or Americana, if you will. I mean, if this is how many antique tractors there are in this area, and I know for a fact that this is one of the smallest towns in the whole entire United States, then what is it like where there are bigger towns that had more people that farmed? I mean, there must be barns full of old tractors just laying around. Uh, unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for coming with us to the 17th annual I Love Old Tractors Tractor Show. I'm so glad that you could come with us today. I hope you enjoyed it and um, please stay tuned for more awesome farming stuff from the channel. We're going to head back to the farm and go make sure that the animals haven't gotten out because we've been enjoying ourselves and drinking soda pop and eating sausage on a stick here at the tractor show. So. I'm Annie and for Nate, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and uh, share this video. See you soon.